Hey guys, Harrison 101 back at it once again with a brand new video for you. Um, to start this video, let's get the uh, not so nice stuff out of the way. From everyone at Harrison 101 HD, I'd like to wish a get well soon and a speedy recovery to um, Mauritia test driver Mauricia Di Velotta, who had a horrible accident, a freak accident, while practicing and warming up for the British Grand Prix this weekend. Uh, I've already heard the very horrible news to hear that she's had to lose her right eye um, due to the fractured skull injury she had. Pot as um, as part of the crash and part of her injury. So um, from everyone here, I'm sure I speak on behalf of everyone in Formula One when I say, get well soon, Maria. And um, I, I I really really hope the injuries aren't too serious. And you know, it's just it's just horrible 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 to hear about something like this in Formula One. Uh, obviously just a freak accident and just um, yeah, it's just just flat out terrible. So um, so my, my my thoughts and prayers go to Maria, her friends, her family, and the entire Mauritia team for this obviously very difficult time. Um, let's move on to more positive notes, uh, more interesting notes, I should say. Um, this is obviously part 24 of our Formula 1 2011 Primo playthrough, and we are now qualifying in Spa. And I've noticed, for some reason, the AI, when you go on this difficulty, are broken round Spa. I mean, these guys are doing 1 minute 43s round here, and... My Force India can't get anywhere near that, even if I had a perfect lap and perfect conditions and everything was rigged for performance, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be able to get anywhere close to that. So you might be a bit disappointed by my qualifying results in the end. That, and for another reason, which I'll get to at the end. You'll, you'll see for yourself in the middle of the video. But, um, anyway, talk enough about Spy. We all know how awesome it is as a racetrack and, um... Just, just how great it is. I mean, I, I love Spa. It's a, it's one of my favourite tracks to drive around. Um, I'm not very good around there, but it doesn't mean I don't enjoy it any less. For some reason, I just lose a ton of time in Sector 2, and I have no idea as to why. It's just, just weird. But anyway, moving on from Spa. Um, another couple of notes I want to get to before I get to the main point of this video, which I think you guys might find a bit funny. Um, Robin Van Persie. What about him? I mean, football news. Let's just talk about football. I mean... Um, Robin Van Persie announced he's not going to extend his contract at Arsenal. I think he was quite disrespectful in his comments about leaving the club, um, you know, saying that uh, you know, there's things about holidays and we, me and Wenger don't agree about the the, um, the direction that this club is going in. It's a very interesting situation, but obviously Robin Van Persie, the man who scored 30 goals for Arsenal last season, looks like he's going to be walking away from them. Even the next year, I mean, I think Arsenal really should sell up now and cash in and get some cash for him now, instead of him risking him leaving on a free on a Bosman at the end of next season as his contract expires. It's exactly the same situation that happened to them with Samir Nasri the season before. Um, me personally, I think Van Persie is a great striker, probably top 10 in the world for his position. Um, I think that Arsenal shouldn't be surprised that they want him to go. I mean, let's be honest, he's 27 years old, he's a world-class striker, he's probably got one more big contract left in him before he starts to decline. I mean, why not see if you can win something with a bigger club? Because I still think, while Arsenal are an improving team, I still can't help but think that um, they're probably one or two years away from being Premiership contenders again. So I think, why not move on elsewhere? Maybe like a Real Madrid or a Manchester City, where you know you might be able to win something before you have to hang it up, because I, I don't think Arsenal are there yet, I don't think they're going to be there, Podolski and Giroud combined, I don't think they're going to get 30 goals next season for Arsenal, so, are Arsenal a one-man team? No, they have quality players all over the park, guys that are getting better, guys who could, you know, be really special for them in the future, I just think losing 30 goals a year is a massive blow to any team. Let me know what you think about the Robin Van Persie situation below. Um... So, you know, uh, moving on quickly to the main point of this video, why is this video called Maria Robin in the Hamster Cage? Well, I've, I've already covered two of those topics. The third one was that, uh, something that popped up on my Twitter today from uh, a friend of mine called The Grid Walker. Um, very nice guy, great YouTuber, go check him out. I'll put a link in the description for his channel. But um, he was talking about... Um, basically, the story starts that I was about to film this video which you're about to see, and one of my friends of mine on Skype was asking me about girl advice. And the topic come up about one of my former relationships, and I f um, the grid walker thought it would be a good idea if I mentioned this in the commentary. So I thought, yeah, sure, why not? And I I'll give you a funny relationship story from my past, just to end this video. Um, if you've got a funny relationship story, by the way, I'd love to hear them. Put them in the comments below. I'll mention the best ones in a video next time around. But um, 
what was told to me, um, what happened to me was that when I was 15, and I used, um, I used to go to Greater Manor High School in in, um, in West London, um, my first relationship was with a girl called Sam, Samantha. And, you know, she was this really smitten girl who was really into me, um, which was just surprising because you never really think, wait, a girl's really into you? How kind of weird is that? It's normally the guys that have to do all the chasing and the legwork in those kind of relationships. Um, so it was really kind of weird. It was like, oh, this girl admits she likes me. It's like, oh, how, 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 I mean, how cool is that? I mean, awesome. And, you know, I was thinking, yeah, 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 the first kiss was nice and all that. But um, the weird thing was, was that the first time we were meant to actually, you know, meet each other outside of school, and, you know, actually meet up and, you know, do something together on a date and whatever, she was busy that day. And I was kind of left stranded in Greenford Broadway um, and I was waiting for her. Um, you know, I was waiting for it to meet me up, and you know, I called her. To, to, you know, it went straight to voicemail, and I couldn't get a hold of her. And I was wondering why that why that wasn't the case. Um, I could I couldn't get through to it the whole weekend. I was like, wait, what's going on here? Clearly, something isn't right. So I wait till Monday. Monday rolls around. I see her in school, and I was like, hey Sam, what happened? Um, why come I couldn't see you? And um, you wanna know the reason why um, she couldn't see me that day? Simple, really. She was too busy cleaning her hamster cage. Hmm. Not great, was it? <laughs> I mean, I was so angry about the situation, I kind of put it on my on my MySpace page. I mean, MySpace was popular four or five years ago. You know, not anymore. It's about as dead as the dingo. But, um... Which, which, meant, which meant to one of her friends printing it off, showing her and, and you know, her chasing me around the school block. The thing about Sam was she was like six foot one and like quite quite a large girl. Like, you know, you know not as in large as in fat, just large as in, you know, big framed. And I hadn't really grown yet at fifteen, so you know the, the idea of a six foot one te woman terrorizing me around a school playground was 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 terrible. As you can imagine, the relationship didn't really work out in the end. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why this video was partly called the hamster cage because I heard you, I know you guys wanted to hear a funny relationship story so that's my one off my chest um, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did or well, I did telling it me actually experiencing it wasn't that fun even though I must admit writing that MySpace blog about it made me feel a lot better inside I know it was a terrible thing to do but I was 15 you think I'm gonna you think I'm gonna give a damn what one girl thinks of a blog trust me I've got into worse trouble writing blogs in the past than just one person being mad at me. That might be a story for another video. <laughs> that's all I'll say. But um, <laughs> that's something I really wanted to get off my chest. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, that's the entire video pretty much out of the way. Um, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a delay. I must admit, I wanted to take a couple of extra days off. And to mention my PVR had issues as well, but I wanted to take a couple of days off anyway, just so I could, you know, rest, recuperate, get the itch to start making videos again. But, um, seriously, I still love one 2011. The season's, you know, we, we get in through the season now, we're over halfway in. You know, I'm not there in the world title race, but I think I'm actually going to win the world title in this season. The question I've got to ask you guys is that would you guys want to see a season two? If I get a decent contract offer from somebody, would you guys want to see a season two from me? If you want, I can find a way to make me go through the season faster. But if you want to guys want to see a season two, comment below. Let me know. Um, until, until then, I'll catch you guys next time. I've been Harris. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Sayonara. P.S. If your girlfriend's got a hamster cage, I highly recommend you don't date her. That's kind of a red flag. Ciao.